Hello, this is Matt, and I'm back to show the results from the 155 face value 90% search. First off, you need tools, which is hydration, a stapler, some cardboard flips, something to smash your staples, and now you get to work. So you know the dates you need, and you start sorting the coins. Let's start with quarters. So I went ahead and I put them in 30s, 40s, 50s, and these are all 60s because from 64 back to 56 you have to check the reverse you're searching for the reverse type b and you can see it's not very common out of all of these i only found three so we'll just look at one for an example you see there's a little bit of a gap between the e and the s in states it's kind of hard to see but that's what you're looking for so it's the reverse type b so that's what makes sorting through quarters fun. You're not only looking for dates and mint marks, but from 64 back to 56, you can find type B. Now, those are all common. They'll end up going in a bag. If anything is interesting, I like to put it into a cardboard flip. Again, standing liberty. If there's a full date, I flip it. This 37D was in pretty good condition, and it looked like there was something funky with the mint mark. I don't know. Just did it in a flip. Doesn't hurt anything. And then 55, it's not the date I need. I need 55D, but 55s are kind of hard to find. Okay. Let's go with the other tools. You have to have magnification, or I also like to use my wife's crafting magnifier so that's kind of cool let's go down to here i did sort now we're talking about dimes these were all the mercury dimes but if there were any that were in great condition this was a beautiful 1942 that i wanted to put in a flip and then this 1924 is a better date so i went ahead and flipped it now going to the ones that i was searching for in the quarters, I was able to find a 37S and a 40D. So I've conquered the 37S because I only needed one more. I still need 39S. I need three of them. 40D, I found one. So I still need one. But I'm still lacking in a couple. Dimes. The 55D is a monster. Trying to find a 55D dime is extremely tough. Now we go down. These were the dimes I did find. So what I did is I haven't landed them, but I just put them in place. So I'm filling, it looks like three different books. So I'm just looking for the holes in the books. This was pretty amazing. This is a 20S, which is a better date. And this is in better condition, has some interesting toning. And I have conflict, you know, whether to put it in a book or to put it in cardboard flip because it's so nice. But I'm going to land it there because this is my collection and that's where it belongs. So now what I'll do is I'll update my need sheet again from the quarters I will land, the mercury dimes I landed now. Now what do you do with the rest? Again, I showed you how if they're in great condition or they're a semi-key date, put them in flips. I like to separate the mercury dimes, keep those separate from the Roosevelt. Here, these are just nicer quarters. Again, not flip worthy, but nicer than the common, right? So all of these, I used to roll up by year, but I will likely just put those quarters back in a bag. So the thing that I can have comfort in is knowing that these quarters are in a bag. I've already sorted through them. I've already got the type B's. I've already got the years I need. I pulled out the better condition. These truly are expendable, right? These are constitutional or junk. The other thing you'll find are slicked out standing liberty. And speaking of standing liberty, I did find one that I struggled. is because it looks like a zero, but that doesn't make sense because right next to it looks like a one. So I'm calling that a 19, a 1919. So I'm taking a little bit of liberty and putting that in there as a 1919. Now what else can you do? I had a spare book for Liber Liberty Head. 
dimes. That'll never fill. So I like to land either nicely toned or nicer conditioned coins in these books. Again, they're not worthy of having their own cardboard flip, but I want to keep them separate. I do not want to lose track of these. So that's why I ended up with so many blue books is I love using them to store coins. So all my blue books at the end of my life, I hope these end up somewhere, you know, with my kids. The common coinage and those dimes can go for a state sale or, or whatever, but these are somewhat special. So I just wanted to give you an overview. Again, I'm excited. This is so much fun to go through coins, find the coins you need. It's kind of nice to listen to Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings have a beverage or two and just kind of enjoy your night and have a little peace. So thank you for being on this little journey with me. I hope to do several more very soon, and I'll talk to you guys next time.